Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Songs of Conquest, where we have just taken over the city of Eastfell, uh, and we have emerged to find Vilya of Thorncliff basically knocking on our doorstep, but perhaps unwisely, looking only risky right now and well within our reach. I think this is an opportunity. We got to take her down. That'll give our ally time to recover. Hopefully, where, where is our... I wish there was an easier way to locate your allies' armies. Um, Vilya has taken over a lot of stuff in the in the recent past here, and obviously Paradine's right there. It's not like a free walk, but we gotta we gotta reclaim some of this lost territory. So before we jump here, we have an opportunity to hire from this rally point here. Um, obviously, we can condense some troops to make this work. So let's see what are we what are we looking at. Unfortunately, we don't have enough of almost anything. Let's let's cap out these slots. We can we can do that, and we don't have enough of almost anything to make up a whole space, which is a real bummer. Um, I do think I want to bring the artificers on. I like artificers an awful lot. Chaos, destruction, destruction is a really strong set of essences for us. Like, I definitely, it's important that we have enough order, but we definitely have enough order. Especially with uh, with these dudes around. Yeah. So, okay, let's bring them on. Do I want to collapse the pipers down again and, like, go Dreeth heavy? We're losing, we're going to lose a fair amount of essence from doing that. But also, Dreeths are actually, like, <laughs> good at fighting. Something, something we said for that. If you have enough Pipers, a full stack does like 100 to 150 damage. I mean, which is also true of the Dreeths, you know? I'm debating actually hiring like a whole lot of Pipers. It might be a good idea to hold on to some money for development, but I'm, I'm debating whether it makes sense to like grab enough pipers so that we have exactly 50 in the army divide them into 25 and 25 no i think let's try to save we don't want to devote all of our money to this okay this reads fair to us now which generally means that we have a pretty serious advantage we don't really know what her essence generation is like but i know what my essence generation is like speaking of which i don't know why i clicked down here you can open the research from here 20 Celestial Ore. I mean, we're gonna get there, but what if I was there now? Oh. Alright, early fireballs. Let's go say howdy. Hopefully this will give us time to conquer a whole bunch of stuff. Namander is busy, obviously, um, but if we can clean up all of the stuff sort of east of us, I mean, I don't actually even know how many settlements they have on the map. They, they must have stuff like in this fog over here. Ah, uh, yeah, we've definitely spoken to Vilia of Thorncliff before. We've seen this uh, go down very, very poorly in the past. Yep, no prisoners, only death. You know how we do. Out of curiosity, like, how much magic are we looking at here? A little bit of arcana, a trickle of arcana, a fair amount of creation essence, and just a shit ton of order. So much order essence every round. Holy crow. All right. Let's put you way in the back. I probably should have split up these um, pipers a little bit better. All right. We don't have to win big, but it would be cool. It would be cool to win big. Now, obviously, like, the biggest danger to us here really is just that she has a lot of shield-bearing troops. Also, we can't easily predict exactly how fast these horses will be because order... So I'm going to step up a little bit, but I'm, I'm going to try to stay cleanly out of their range for the moment. 
This is pretty much a no-brainer. Let's just pull you back. Are we essence shielded? We are. Only one level of essence shield at least. Yeah, an essence shield remains on until they attack or something. I think we still just try to fireball right through it. Like 30% damage reduction on fireball is still an awful lot of damage on our uh, in our favor. How much movement do you have? Four? So we couldn't step up to here and mine there. An 80 damage mine will kill a couple of shields of order. You know, it's not nothing. We'll go ahead and do it. Uh, you are probably just hanging back for the moment. Next time, I think I'm gonna step back behind my behind my friends here, and we'll aim up. Still only made it to 13 destruction because of the um, because of collapsing the pipers to make room for the dreeths, which is a little awkward. Ow! Really? You moved, and you weren't in deadly range, and that killed half of my stack? That's very fucked. The good news is, this is pretty good now. Yeah, we do that, we do that for sure. Uh, and then I can run up to here and just finish those horses off, and I think that's probably gotta be the play. you intimidate? You have a negative aura. You're persistent and quick. But no. Let me uh let me drop a chain lightning through here real fast. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a that's a strong start. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna commit. So let's let's rally up first, and let's just commit troops. Uh, we can get a lot of work done here. So I'm assuming you can eat them. But do I want to take a chomp out of the like tougher enemies here instead? I probably want to save up so save up the destruction. Yeah, let's um. So ethereal scales, I think it will end at the end of that troop's turn, if I understand this correctly. So I think what I want to do is attack now, and then on this unit's turn, use the ethereal scales on the dogs. I could Breath of the Phoenix instead, but I don't... Yeah, the enemy's not really lined up for that. Yeah, it's just not that impressive as a damage thing. So let's go... Melee resistance on the dogs. Play a little music. Do I want to sabotage? Mm, no, let's just play some more music. Now, unfortunately, there's no way for me to launch this attack where I get to hit multiple enemies. I guess if I were to gain two movement, we could attack through here and hit both of them. Yeah, I can I can double quicken. Okay, I think that's reasonable. That's worth it. We don't have the chaos for a teleport step. I might just honestly aim again. The 
Dreeth are gonna the Dreeth are gonna get in some trouble here. How much HP do you have in total? Forty-five. So like, does a does a do I have a small? No, I don't really have a low yield damage spell for forty-five, because we don't have our boiling blood or anything. Like, I would have to use a whole ice bolt to kill that that archer. And it's not really that much damage. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna I'm just gonna aim again. That's a really really annoying. What is your what is your range currently? One. Boy, that clouded vision <laughs> really upgrades quite powerfully. Alright. Yeah, that group of Dreeths did some did some solid work there. You've been pacified, which is annoying, but honestly, it's like there's no way it's enough to stop you. Let's throw the quicken up. I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ride over here and do a pretty good amount of damage to this knight. Because the fireball coming down in the middle here is gonna is going to do a lot of the work for us. Right, we get these three stacks with it. And then you have the easiest job in the world. Okay, really just like a, an overwhelming victory. Even without us being able to like maximize our, our stacks or anything, it's just Baryan troops are so powerful. They're so, so good. They're very like, it, it has a good like army of elites feel to it as a faction. All right. As the battlefield grew quiet and the smoke cleared, it was evident that Vilya of Thorncliff had retreated to fight another day. Yeah, because nobody ever, nobody ever goes down except for my leader. I mean, to be perfectly honest with you, Order Magic to Tier Three doesn't sound terrible, but I do want to make sure we get our command up. And then, yeah, at this point, the thing to do is just to. We don't have any idea what Paradine's got in his stack. Well, let's head down here. Where's where's um, Namander right now? Oh, Namander's picking up stuff down here. He's nowhere nearby. So, yeah, I'll grab this farmhouse, tap this road sign, and our our goal is the lower settlement. Our ally can get off of their butt and do do the thing with Paradine themselves. All right, Ancient Amber ex Excavation is extremely welcome. Okay, and at this point, all that we are really looking for is that upgrade. Although, so we have a new, we have a new city, right? The new city has the other research building in it. It's also got a workshop already, so we're producing artificers a bazaar, which is like fine. A pair of Piper's posts, which is definitely wrong. Yeah, let's trash one of the, well, I mean, I guess, hold on. We should trash that, but there's no sense of doing it right this second. Um, actually, this could be where we, where we bring in our Harima units, right? What is the, what is the gold cost of that? 2,500? So if I were to buy the Celestial Ore would be just a little bit short. But just a little bit short. We could sell something else for it. I would like to get it building. So to 2,500. If I sell... Yeah, just sell one of those. 
which I feel especially okay doing now that we just got, we secured some income of it. Let's get that running. So we have the other research building. We could, because we have a workshop here, we could just turn this into a cannon uh, production facility. The foundry stuff's not bad though, certainly. Adding a chaos essence to our, to our tinkers is funny. Another chaos essence to the pipers. I don't know what frightful does. I wish if they if they're gonna um, add a trait, I do wish that there was like a little extra tooltip box hanging off that tells you what the trait does. Okay, but yeah, that's the you know honestly it seems valuable. I think it's okay to keep it. All right. Let's see our ally run off into the darkness and ignore everything that's going on. Let Paradine just run the show over here. I was kind of hoping that the watchtowers might give us a little bit of data. All right, it's fine. Touch this. Touch that. And this will definitely be a raise. I don't, I don't think we need to, um, if I just hit quick battle, will it, will it give it to me? Acceptable losses. Yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to sit still. I want to keep putting up pressure. Okay, we'll hit that reflecting pool on the next turn. Oh, I didn't touch the waterfall. Okay, we can grab the waterfall as we go past. Uh, back in the other direction. Okay, 300 gold, a bandit hideout. Yeah, I'll knock out some bandits, I guess. Uh, I probably want y'all, like, way back here. This really is not a very strong army. I maybe should have taken more troops out into the wilderness than this. Okay, yeah, that's an annoying dude. Move around to here to maximize our inspiration in his retaliation, and then just have at him, I guess. So his retaliation's gone, but it, I will still get pinged if I move. Yeah, I guess all there is to do is wear him down. You have the wherewithal to flee. And unfortunately... I mean, if I run down here and attack this guy in such a way that I blow up the barrel, it is going to kill him. But you only have four move? No, you have five. Okay, so we can, we can take the safe path to that. Okay, very close to dead. Oh, your spells are much weaker, my dude. Unfortunately, there's nothing for it. Okay, we can definitely make this work. It turns out you don't really need a very large amount of flamethrowers to do horrible things to enemy troops with your flamethrowers. It's pretty straightforward, actually. Ten percent melee resistance for everybody is kind of exciting. I guess we had two different ways of taking it as well. Um, and right now we're so low on troops that I don't know. Like I don't command is not really available to us, or you know the we're not going to benefit from 
any command. So let's just grab some, okay, a small amount of wood and gold inside that treasure chest. Who just puts lumber inside a treasure chest? What is that about? Okay, that's still building. How are we doing on the upgrade? I would need to buy 20 stone. We can do that, right? That's no big deal. Yeah, 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 we'll have, we'll have plenty of resources left. Well, maybe not plenty, actually. It's cut fairly close. But there we go. All right, cool. Uh, so. I want to go factory here. That's going to take a bunch of that stuff. That's fine. That's an turn concern. What is this going to be is the question. We, I think, have everything we need. I guess the thing to do here would be... Um, a rally point, I suppose. Well, I don't know that we're ever going to need to recruit troops down here, though. And if we do, the troops that are actually being produced down here are probably sufficient. So we kind of don't need anything, which makes me think maybe like a shop. If I sell one ancient amber we can build the shop this turn <laughs> just may as well right and then obviously we'll have the resources to get the cannons going next turn but honestly i don't know how much use we're gonna get out of them all right let's see what else happens up here i mean she's she's not doing nothing she is she's providing some benefit Okay, that's my gold mine, actually. So that's a permanent stat thing. Oh, he's easy to kill. I was gonna say, we'll just come down here and grab the stats off of this because we're not gonna reach him this turn. But actually, I'm not so sure. If we touch the waterfall, And the road stone. All oh, right, you can't get the road sign again. Yeah, okay. We don't quite get to him this turn, but I do wanna. I do wanna put myself in position to threaten him. Although they have so much movement, if he just runs north, well, if he runs north, he's not capturing stuff though. Yeah. Let's go make it clear to him that he is not welcome here. Namander will finish grabbing this stuff and then I guess come up north with us. Hold on. There's maybe some things worth picking up over here. Um, I should probably be building things in this town as well. So the Fort Alice is up. I need to buy five Glimmer Weave. Get the Sassanids coming in, and then this is... This is a thing we can afford to do next turn. That's not a big deal. Damn it. Well, that's fine. We're just gonna... <laughs> we're just gonna sell another Ancient Amber, or maybe more than that. Maybe also I sell a wood. There we go. Turns out money, uh, money just remains tight, always and forever. All right, are you gonna come join us? Like, okay, she's at least decapping their resources. Oh, what is this? Are you, are you threatening me, sir? Let me go grab some money from this orchard real fast. That's how not in a hurry I am to deal with you. Uh, yeah, Piper's separated. I don't feel like y'all need to be on the outside. Eh, you know what? This is fine. Out of curiosity. What do you give me on a quick battle? An acceptable outcome, I think. All right. I do need to take a second to make sure that we're, like, I guess, no, that we're probably outfitted correctly. 
So three offense, three defense, one movement versus three movement, three initiative. I do think that um, the map distance is worth it. I think it's the right call. We don't actually have a lot of helmets. Our helmet is not very impressive, but yeah, okay, never mind. You're right. You're doing. You're doing it right. Good job. Okay, so that's in the process of flipping. Like, this is the next thing that needs to get threatened, and Lady Hammond is on the way over there. So we have... We have some stuff unexplored. Pretty large area unexplored, actually, and I think that maybe is what needs to change. But before we do that, since we're in the area of the rally point again, let's come back over here and do some recruiting. Uh, fill out your stack. Fill out your stack. Yeah, jeez. And then we need, we need time. How much movement do I have left? Kind of a lot is the thing. Like, I probably don't want to sit still. Yeah, those guns are not not happy with the amount of gutters we have left, but I think we should probably move. So I'll go this way. We'll scoop up like mines and stuff as we as we approach. And the Mander. Stone Circle, and then a risky fight against a cacophony of rats. I just don't feel like it's likely to be all that risky, honestly. Well, maybe. Actually, looking at the units we have to work with here. Okay, also, it is a little... It's a little more than I thought it was going to be. So you kind of are garbage. You're just kind of a garbage unit. Hmm. We like stand here and buff the archers. Yeah, and I think the thing to do is just like pick at them as they approach. able to get close enough to attack here they are that's fixable all right so these ones can't get close enough these ones still actually can somehow yeah, i don't think i really want you to do anything just waiting and casting as much as much damaging magic as we possibly can right, obviously that's coming that's a pretty good place for um for them to be set up when we get that counter attack and then that's just like, it's not even a good one of those. I think at this point we onslaught you, allowing you to clear one of the stacks. Justice feels pretty weak here. I think that's gonna be a bad play. Um, I need, gosh, pacify is not even good. How much damage do y'all do? Okay, it's gonna be like it is gonna be enough to kill one maybe even two artificers on that attack or probably not two the thing is I don't know that this actually changes the value we have enough order to improve his initiative where's your initiative at 27 relative to their 
35. So actually, a quicken plus the song should do it. There we go. Yeah, the uh, the difference between having a wielder and not having a wielder is really significant, even when they are as underdeveloped as Namander is. So let's be honest; he's certainly not in the same place as our other uh, as our other wielder. Let's interact with this forgotten grave. The heavy lid is slowly pushed to the side, revealing riding boots. Also, glimmer weave. Glimmer weave's relevant. Okay, I think we're done down here. Namander can't really help with that. We might be just headed to the front from that point. Okay, I think she's she's gonna do it. We don't know how long it will be before they're back up with um, a boar spear is not very good work. We don't know how long it'll be before they're back with like a serious army. Uh, you may as well stop at the stone, stone circle on the way past. And... Do you come back to base? Though you probably just run forward. like we have rally points and stuff up here all right do i know what i want to do with these i could build more dreefs it's a pretty efficient way to actually have enough troops to uh, fill out your armies all right so we're building we're building this probably could Get upgraded. I don't know what I would want to do with it. Do we have five bazaars? We don't. I think that's probably an okay thing to start with. Okay, cool. So that's flipped, and that means that as far as we, we know, they don't have any other settlements. Although, obviously, we're seeing the outliers of one here. What are we looking at? Much in the way of defense? No. Not much in the way of defense. Sure. Uh, just raise it. I don't want to be stuck here. So there is a road going up and right. But I don't think there's room for a settlement up there. Death comes to all, some sooner than others, and apparently that's a piece of information we're just now learning. There's an active experience gain there. Should I be falling back? They might come out of the fog at any moment with who knows what. I think we've probably really fucked up their economy, though. Like, it's going to be hard for them to bring a huge force against us with most of their troop buildings getting lost all the time. But maybe I shouldn't be so um, cavalier with Bigley because he is the one who um, causes us to immediately lose the map if he loses a battle. In theory, we can come up through this path now. But I don't know for sure that Namander is up to dealing with these undead. No, he's totally not. Okay, well, that's embarrassing. Why don't you grab some loot from these burnt buildings and just turn around, I guess. We'll take the uh, we'll take the other path. I tried to clear that for him, but there's only so much you can do. Uh, all right, so this isn't building anything anymore, but also it's actually it's actually built out. We did it. So this requires 15 celestial ore. I think we can probably just wait on that since it's not like improving the number of troops we're generating. And 
over here we can just be making even more drees. At this point, we have the ability to... Yeah, I'll do that for sure. Adding essence to, um, to units is very strong. Plus one range, plus one deadly range is also pretty strong, but we're going to use the Celestial Ore for something in a moment here. That's a weird turn. Okay, here's Vilya just south of our territory. Turns out it's a good time to be headed back here. So they, they must have something over there. Okay, refill fill that slot out. Pretty small numbers of most of these troops. So if I combine these, we could pick up another whole stack of artificers. I think that's probably the play. I would love to, to bring on some of these um, some of these Sassanid troops or cannons or whatever. I mean, three cannons is a pretty big deal, damage-wise. Yeah, okay. Let's, um... Let's go do the cannon upgrade. Oh, now I don't have the other stuff. And then upgrade the cannons in the pool. And then buy a couple more of these. Okay. They are, in fact, two celestial ore each to hire. But I guess the question is, now that we're in the situation that we find ourselves in, do I collapse the pipers and just replace one of the, the one of the piper stacks with a full stack of artificers? Because the damage they deal is very impressive. I do like getting multiple copies of the song. You know, for right now, we'll leave it as it is. There's no way she's ready for this army, right? Yeah, okay. She has effectively no troops. She had one, she was, she was fully base. I wonder if they maybe don't have any recruitment buildings left at all. Maybe they only have small settlements. Well, anything they have is gonna be this way. Let's, I guess let's go through the, through our own settlement. Hit the Aurelian Milestone. Have an opportunity to trade some gold to this tree for permanent buffs. Because we do still have a mission left. So making sure we pick this stuff up is valuable. Let's make sure all of our troops are like the good troops. And what's the cost of this upgrade? 10 celestial ore? Yeah, what the hell. We get good prices on, uh, on resources at this point. 1500 and another 400. Okay. There we go. Everybody is everybody is ready to rock. Stealthy backstabber and weight is very powerful. What what a cool unit. All right, let's pass the turn. So I mean, we got to be We got to be close to it now, right? given the behavior that we're seeing from the AI. All right, I 
think that settlement is probably down here. Yep. In fact, we might be just about done. All right, is there anything that you need to touch because it is going to confer permanent bonuses? I don't, oh, the scholar's like turn probably. That might, that might be some XP or something. What would it cost to finish upgrading you? 50, 40? Uh, you know, I can make that happen. No reason not to take on all that money. And I guess this would just be another cannon building. Probably. All right, let's take on this small settlement. They do have an awful lot of militia. Wow. Uh, sorry, raise. I definitely don't want to stick around. That's a road that goes into a cliff face. Why would that be like that? Oh, right. This is the town that's on the... I'm so used to having approached from below here. I totally forgot. Like, we know pre from previously that the port this portal leads to a settlement here. Well, okay, whatever. Got it now, I guess. You know, I'm going to do this... In part because I didn't remember what was up here and I wanted to see if there was anything up here worth grabbing. And it looks like the answer to that is probably yeah. Probably yeah, it is worth, uh, worth getting some XP. Okay, you realize that's there. That's good because I didn't. Okay. After a long campaign and many battles, the stout hearts were beaten and the lands were claimed by Lady Hammond's hand. What she would do with them was not up to Bigley, however. All he cared about was that the debt was paid. He and Amander met to talk of what came next. Oh, Xavier is dead. I don't know what to say or do. Grieve. And then perhaps vengeance. Although what we've done here should be vengeance enough. No, no, it's not enough. He was pompous, yes, and, but he had a caring heart. And we were all tricked by the baronies of Arleon. Nothing good ever comes from dealing with barons. That's probably true. We should never have gotten involved. Well, I agree. These lands we conquered aren't even Hammond's, and she will use them to bargain for her old lands. I suspect she knew Silkspool and I would fail in the south. I can't believe they killed Xavier. He surrendered. How was that justice? Now, they speak of justice and order, but they twist the truth and can't even control their own forces. Hammond's knights raised an entire village for no good reason, and I was sentenced for their crimes. Keeping track of their lies is like trying to stop the wind. I've had enough of barons. Ah, uh, they're all evil, and I long for home, and to try to make sense of this with everything. Then let's go, friend. Friend? Yes, I suppose so. Okay, that feels like an ending to a story, but obviously there's some kind of some kind of complication because that was only mission three of this campaign, right? After helping Lady Hammond claim the lands of Springhold and Eastfell, Bigley went home and took Demander with him. He'd had enough of the intrigues and wars of the Arleon nobles and longed to smell the winds of Barrio once more. Ah, this is the part where we see if I am misremembering, because that does feel 
No, okay, yeah, that was only three. It does feel like an ending, doesn't it? But there is yet more. Stricken by grief over the death of his friend Xavier Silkspool, Bigley traveled back to the region of Moltencliff to wait for Everthink there. He was hoping to find peace and solace, but would instead realize that all his choices had led to unforeseen consequences. And I think that seems like a pretty good place to pick it up uh, with tomorrow's episode. That's going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I feel like I learned a lot from that um, that the last mission, particularly our failure in that last mission. That was a um, it was a high value failure. Hopefully, our play has tightened up to some degree, and we can take this on at worthy. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, keep the difficulty up here. We're gonna give it a couple of tries at the very least. But at the rate things are scaling up, I'm at least a little bit concerned. So I guess come back next time to see if I can handle it, and we'll see you then.